Since we've been going to their home, we've noticed that it just has a certain peace, serenity in their home. You can tell that there's love abound. It's always a great feeling. So just yesterday, even I had text Matt and I told him we might do a drive by to come see you. They just moved to a new house. You know, we had some time, couldn't check in the motel till three. So it's like, well, let's go do this. So we went, you know, made some time. They were real busy, but they made time for us to come see the house. But once I walked in that, that room, I had the same feeling, just peace, serenity. And I hope that that peace and serenity will always stay with you all. You always make me feel like I'm gay. You never leave my thoughts alone, gay. You, you're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking about you. I got two words for you that I think that you all should say that would be the keys to successful marriage. One is trust. Now, trust is just not about believing in one another. It's about preparing yourselves for anything that's going to come your way and meet all of those challenges together as a team. Communication, communication is the glue that keeps it all together. Those late nights when y'all lay y'all heads down at night, all those conversations that you have, and then that small talk that you have throughout the course of the day, those are just some of those minor things. Those are the foundations of the keys to success for a marriage. There. So we just want to say we wish you all many blessings in the future, and God bless you. You're the reason I'm going out of my mind I just can't stop thinking about you You got me feeling some type of way You make me want to stay in on it You're the reason I can't get out of my head I just can't stop thinking about you Welcome, family, friends, and loved ones. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Matthew and Tiffany. You have all come here to share in the formal commitment they are making to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Matthew and Tiffany to start their marriage, excuse me, married life together, surrounded by people dearest and most important to them. So welcome to one and all who have traveled near and far. Matthew and Tiffany, thank you for your presence here today and now ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support of their decision to be married. 
Two people in love do not live in isolation. Their love is a source of strength with which they may nourish not only each other, but also the world around them. And in turn, we, their community of friends and family, have a responsibility to this couple by our steadfast care, respect, and love. We can support their marriage and the new family they are creating today. With that said, will you who are present here today promise to surround Matthew and Tiffany in love, offering them their joys of your friendship and supporting them in their marriage? If so, will you please say we will? <laughs> you may be seated. <laughs> we will now have a reading from Matthew and Tiffany's son, Nathaniel. Remember tonight, for it is the beginning of always. A promise, like a reward for persisting through life so long alone. A belief in each other and the possibility of love. A decision to ignore or to simply rise above the pain of the past. A covenant which at once binds two souls and yet severs prior ties. A celebration, the chance taken and the challenge that lies ahead. For two will always be stronger than one, like a team braced against the tempest of the world. And love will always be the guiding force in our lives. For tonight is mere formality, only an announcement to the world of feelings long held and promises made long ago in the sacred space of our hearts. Matthew and Tiffany will now read their promises they have prepared for each other. All right, I'm gonna go, can you hear me okay in the back? Yasmin, you got me? Okay. My girl. All right, I'm going to go first, ladies first, because I don't want to get upstaged. So I'm going to go first. So just so you know, they're not vows. They're just promises that Matt and I decided to share in front of you all. Tristan, are you listening? I don't think you are. All right. Number one, Matt, not just for this moment, not just for this hour or for this day or just for this year, but I promise I will always, always love you forever. Number two, I promise to always communicate with you freely, never to hold back, but to be loyal and honest as a wife and to love you fiercely and to love you without any measure. Number three, I promise to be your best friend and lover. And I promise to be patient because I know I can't be sometimes and just shut up sometimes. <laughs> Stop talking because I'm a talker and show how much I love you and not just say it but physically show you and to laugh with you, cry with you, and to always love you in this world and whatever is next for us. Love you. Love you too. Not that it was bad for you. No. Okay, sorry, Rich. Okay. Should've, okay. should've okay. do it for it. <laughs> and Tiffany, I promise to be your protector. Although we all know you can handle yourself. <laughs> uh, rely on me to keep you physically and emotionally safe. It is my honor defending yours. I promise to stay young with you and keep our youthful hearts from ever taking ourselves too seriously. And I promise to always date you, flirt with you, and fall in love with you again and again through every stage of our lives. And uh, also, I uh, promise to always uh, offer you the last bite. Hey! <laughs> now, please have the rings. All right, Matthew, please take, place the ring on Tiffany's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Our strength together. <laughs> Our strength together. And my promise to learn and grow with you. And my promise to learn and grow with you. Thank you. Tiffany, will you please place the ring on Matthew's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. 
our strength together. Our strength together. And my promise to learn and grow with you. And my promise to learn and grow with you. Amen. Matthew, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. Tiffany, <laughs> do you take this man to be your wedded husband? 100% I do. <laughs> well, with that said, by the power of your love and commitment and the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And as soon as I get out of the way, so the photographer can take a great picture, you may kiss your bride. So good. <laughs> I'm so happy that we have embraced Tiffany's family with ours. It's so important to share their love in our family. And my advice to them is to live your life to the fullest and don't waste a single day. I love you guys. As you two embark on a life together, I truly hope that you keep in mind your why. The reason for whatever it is that you two are trying to build, because if you know your why, there is no how that can stand in your way. You will always figure out how to get through what you have to get through as long as you know what you're up to together. And that may change as you grow and evolve. So remember your why, but also please also take care of your own selves individually. Stay Tiffany, stay Matt, cultivate your own individual selves because it will only create a stronger partnership. And congratulations, let's turn the hook. Oh! It's all because of you, you, you I feel the way I do, do, do You make my dreams come true, true, true It's all because of you, because of you, because of you And I don't fall in love so easily Cause I don't wear my heart up on my sleeve yeah. I don't know if you feel the same But every time I hear your name My worries disappear It's all because of you It's all because